One of the present generally unmistakable and high-level physicists has communicated his assessment regarding this situation. Miro Kaku, recognized for his remarkable contributions to the fields of material science, has as of late affirmed that the James Webb Space Telescope has found six gigantic systems that researchers thought couldn't exist. These examinations can possibly open up new aspects in our logical comprehension of the universe. The disclosure is both invigorating and progressive, testing existing speculations about the development and improvement of universes. It is, therefore, worth watching out for these developments. The affirmation by such a recognized researcher as Miro Kaku highlights the significance of these discoveries. Kaku is a remarkable figure in the scientific field, a physicist of American and Japanese heritage. He is viewed as a specialist in both traditional trial material science and quantum mechanics. Unlike some more moderate and distrustful researchers, Kaku doesn't have a place with that group and has been responsive to the astounding consequences of the James Webb Space Telescope mission. His ability to embrace new revelations and share them with the public highlights his commitment to advancing our understanding of the universe. We are glad that this recognized researcher has chosen to end his silence and publicly share what can no longer be denied. The excitement and nearly entertained tone of the prestigious heavenly physicist are clear in his remarks on the disclosure made by the James Webb Space Telescope, expressing that this has been a feature that has piqued his interest. Join us to explore the implications of Miro Kaku's revelation of these six huge cosmic systems. Kaku is a researcher who has consistently been willing to consider new speculations. Throughout his life, he has demonstrated a receptiveness to ideas that challenge the business as usual, grasping the understanding that Einstein's conditions of relativity and Newton's regulations, while fundamental, are inadequate to capture the full intricacy of the universe. Kaku understands that the disclosure of the new telescope has the potential to enhance the scientific field, although many of his partners have not yet been able to adopt this view. It is generating concern and insomnia among the Big Bang advocates and adversaries of quantum mechanics. However, this only induces laughter from Kaku. The JWST has uncovered the discovery of six huge cosmic systems, tracing all the way back to the earliest seasons of the universe. Each of these cosmic systems contains a larger number of stars than our own Milky Way, despite having formed only 200 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. The group of astronomers who made the discovery has named these extraordinary cosmic systems universe breakers, since, if confirmed, they would alter our entire understanding of the universe. The ramifications of these discoveries are significant, suggesting that the universe's early years were far more powerful and complex than previously thought. Something doesn't fit here anymore. The theory of the universe's origin tells us that the universe was a wreck after the beginning event. The first solid objects took many millennia to form, and it took countless additional years for the items to reach adequate thickness and produce light. The development of complex designs like systems was expected to happen much later. Some of the newfound worlds surpassed the Milky Way in size, and their gigantic radiance suggests that they were most likely forming many new stars every year while our galaxy forms stars only irregularly. It remains unclear precisely when the first galaxy formed. Analysts have not yet been able to determine this, but the one thing that is clear is that, at first, there may have only been single stars or groups of stars that eventually joined together to form larger structures, until dwarf galaxies fostered the small systems that experienced other galaxies and gradually grew. According to past speculations, deeply coordinated and large universes could not have existed at that time, which raises the question of whether the universe is much older than previously accepted or whether complex cosmic structures developed much sooner. This situation is challenging to accept for conservative science, which still finds issues with this model, and some parts of physics strongly refuse to accept this discovery. Moreover, they question potential errors in the age estimations. Miro Kaku is aware of this and had this to say, there are a large number of old and misleading speculations that stubbornly endure due to the reputation of certain researchers. Many of these hypotheses were only undermined when a pivotal trial exposed their inaccuracies. Thus, the central work in any science, particularly in physics, rests within the experimentalists who keep the scholars alert and awake. In fact, on Earth, we have barely any familiarity with the valid starting points of the universe. This statement from Kaku underlines the importance of constant trial and error and validation in the scientific process. The theory of how things came to be was laid out in 1927, 
based on observations of the universe's development. This information led to the conclusion that the universe began from a singular point and has been expanding since then. At the time, it was hard for people and researchers to imagine a universe with both a start and an end. The possibility of a universe that had always existed and was endless was beyond people's imagination. And even today, scientists still face challenges in understanding it. However, it is important to consider these possibilities. By now, these new findings don't fit with what scientists have based their understanding on for many years regarding the theory of the Big Bang. Nonetheless, Science has shown time and again that re-examination and openness to groundbreaking ideas are essential parts of the scientific process, just like the confirmation of certain speculations and observations. When Einstein was a child, it was accepted that the stars and planets were firmly fixed in the universe, and these specific designs occupied a defined space. Now we know that everything in the universe is moving. Planets orbit, stars move within their galaxies at many kilometers per second, and entire galaxies move quickly through the universe, the fate of which we can't yet predict. This unique understanding of the universe challenges long-held convictions and highlights the need for continuous inquiry and adaptation in scientific thought. Today, researchers are challenged to accept uncomfortable truths and to grasp that hypotheses are not absolute pieces of wisdom until they are thoroughly tested or confirmed by precise observation. The possibility of the Big Bang emerged from the recognition that galaxies are moving away from one another, and this distance is proportional to their separation from Earth. This observation, known as Hubble's Law, suggested that the universe was expanding. For a while, elements such as cosmic background radiation and the redshift of light from distant galaxies and other cosmological designs seemed to support this hypothesis. However, it is crucial to remember that previously, People who believed the Earth was flat and that the Sun rotated around us also had physical evidence for their assumptions until incidents or technological advances came along that provided a clearer, more precise picture. Right now, we are seeing a similar situation. Scientists expected the new James Webb Space Telescope to confirm the assumptions associated with the Big Bang. However, instead, they have come across these six systems that seemed impossible, reminding us that science is constantly evolving and that researchers must remain open to new discoveries and reassess existing theories based on available evidence. The surprising discovery challenged the current understanding and prompted a reassessment of long-established cosmological hypotheses. Scientists use redshift as a tool to determine certain measurements in the study of the universe. Redshift, also known as the Doppler effect, refers to the change in the color of light as the light sources and the observer move relative to each other. To understand this, you can imagine standing still and hearing a car approaching you. As the vehicle moves toward you, the engine gets louder. However, when the car passes by or moves away from you, the engine's sound changes. The same is true of light. When a light source, such as a distant star, moves toward us, the light we see shifts to bluer wavelengths. On the other hand, when the light source moves away from us, the light shifts toward redder wavelengths. This phenomenon is called redshift. Physicists have converted redshift values into speeds and distances for measurements in the study of the universe. However, it is important to note that small errors in these measurements could have significant impacts. The measurement methods previously used are now under review, and it will be interesting to see what results researchers arrive at regarding the latest findings about our universe. It is crucial to consider whether these findings are truly based on redshift mistakes or whether some researchers are simply denying the facts. This is a question that requires thorough investigation and careful review of the information and methods used in the research. The current analysis and reassessment of measurement methods highlight the evolving nature of scientific inquiry. Thank you for watching the video. As always, we encourage you to post your questions in the comments box. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button, share it so it reaches more people, and subscribe to the feed so you don't miss more content. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. This call to action encourages viewers to engage with the content, fostering a community of curious minds eager to explore and understand the latest scientific revelations. The exploration of our universe, with its vast scopes and complex celestial bodies, continues to enrapture and challenge scientists across the globe. From the early hypotheses of the universe to the latest discoveries made possible by cutting-edge technology, 
Every revelation reshapes how we understand the universe and pushes the boundaries of human knowledge. One of the most significant and enduring questions in cosmology revolves around the origin and development of galaxies. Galaxies are vast cities of stars, gas, dust, and dark matter bound together by gravity. Understanding how galaxies form and evolve is crucial not only for unraveling the mysteries of our universe, but also for confirming or challenging existing theories, such as the theory of the Big Bang, proposed nearly 100 years ago. This theory, based on observations of the universe's expansion and cosmic microwave background radiation, suggests that the universe began from a dense point and has been expanding ever since. Recent discoveries, especially those made by the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, have challenged some fundamental assumptions underlying the Big Bang Theory. The JWST, with its remarkable sensitivity and resolution, has identified galaxies that defy conventional understanding. These galaxies, dating back to within a few hundred million years of the Big Bang, are unexpectedly massive and luminous, suggesting a more dynamic early universe than previously imagined. The implications of these discoveries are significant. They raise questions about the timeline and mechanisms of galaxy formation, compelling scientists to rethink existing models. For example, the discovery of galaxies that are already highly advanced soon after the Big Bang challenges the idea that universe development was a slow and steady process occurring over billions of years. The JWST's observations have also highlighted the complexity of cosmic evolution. It is now clear that galaxies can form quickly and undergo intense star-forming activity early in their history. These insights force astrophysicists to update their theories on how stars, gas, and dark matter interacted in the universe's infancy to form the first galaxies. Beyond disrupting our understanding of galaxy formation, these discoveries emphasize the critical role of technological advances in pushing the frontiers of astrophysical research. The JWST, with its infrared capabilities, allows scientists to peer deeper into space and further back in time than ever before. By studying the light emitted by distant galaxies, astronomers can reconstruct their histories and gain insights into the conditions that existed during the universe's infancy. The nature of redshift, a crucial tool in cosmological research, plays a significant role in these studies. Redshift refers to the shift in light toward longer wavelengths as objects move away from us. This phenomenon, known as cosmological redshift, provides valuable information about an object's distance and speed relative to Earth. Through meticulous analysis of redshift data, scientists can deduce the size, age and evolutionary stage of galaxies observed by telescopes like the JWST. However, interpreting redshift measurements requires precise calibration and an understanding of potential sources of error, such as gravitational lensing and instrumental limitations. In addition to studying individual galaxies, astronomers are investigating larger cosmic structures, such as galaxy clusters and superclusters. These immense collections of galaxies are bound together by gravity and offer insights into the distribution of matter on cosmic scales. By mapping the spatial arrangement of galaxies and measuring their velocities, researchers can trace the cosmic web, a vast structure that spans the universe and defines the large-scale arrangement of galaxies. The cosmic microwave background, CMB, radiation serves as another invaluable source of data for cosmologists. Discovered accidentally in 1964, the CMB is the faint glow of radiation left over from the Big Bang. As the universe expanded and cooled, the intense heat of the early universe cooled to a few degrees above absolute zero, leaving behind this inevitable background radiation. Detailed measurements of the CMB's temperature fluctuations provide a snapshot of the universe's early stages, revealing primordial density variations that eventually gave rise to galaxies and large structures seen today. Satellite missions like the Planck Observatory have mapped the CMB with remarkable accuracy, confirming key predictions of the Big Bang Theory while also revealing anomalies that challenge current cosmological models. One such anomaly is the presence of cold spots and unusually large voids in the CMB maps, suggesting unexpected patterns in the early universe's density distribution. These irregularities have sparked debates among cosmologists, prompting alternative theories, such as inflationary cosmology, which posits that the universe underwent a brief period of rapid expansion in its earliest moments. 
The quest to understand the origin of cosmic structures extends beyond traditional astrophysical methods. Particle physics, especially experiments conducted at high-energy colliders like the Large Hadron Collider, LHC, seeks to recreate the extreme conditions of the early universe to test fundamental particles and forces. Theoretical frameworks such as quantum gravity and string theory offer possible avenues for reconciling gravity with quantum mechanics, the two pillars of modern physics. These ambitious theories aim to unify our understanding of the universe at its most fundamental levels, potentially resolving the inconsistencies between Einstein's general relativity and quantum field theory. Similarly, the search for dark matter and dark energy continues to intrigue cosmologists. Dark matter, which is believed to make up around 27% of the universe's total mass energy content, exerts a gravitational influence on galaxies and other cosmic structures despite emitting no detectable electromagnetic radiation. Its elusive nature has prompted numerous observational and theoretical efforts to identify its constituent particles and understand its role in cosmic dynamics. Similarly, dark energy, which constitutes roughly 68% of the universe's energy density, drives the accelerated expansion of the universe observed in recent decades. Its origin and properties remain mysterious, posing significant questions about the ultimate fate of the universe and the nature of the fundamental forces governing cosmic evolution. The pursuit of these major questions requires interdisciplinary collaboration and the integration of observational, theoretical, and experimental approaches. Astronomers, astrophysicists, Cosmologists and particle physicists are working together to unravel the vast code written in the light and structure of the universe. In conclusion, our investigation of the universe is a journey of discovery and reassessment, a testament to human curiosity and creativity. From the early pioneers of cosmology to today's scientists looking through the lenses of space telescopes, each generation adds new chapters to our cosmic story. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of galaxies, dark matter, and the cosmic microwave background, we inch closer to understanding our place in the vast expanse of existence.